Hello everyone. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Maths Tech. Today we will discuss class 11 chapter 7 permutation and combination. Before starting permutation and combination, we will discuss a principle which is fundamental principle of counting. Suppose you have a suitcase or a spake four digit ka number lock hai. 0 to 9 digits waha pe use honge without any repetition wo number lock hai somehow aap number lock bhool gaye aur sirf itna yaad hai ki the first digit of number lock was 7 now you have to list that number lock kaise karenge 3 digits taken at a time arrange karke dekhenge ki kya kya arrangements hain then number lock ko find out karenge तो ये बहुत लार्ज एंड टीडियस मेथड होगा इसके लिए एक टेक्निक बहुत इजी है जिससे हम विदाउट लिस्टिंग द अरेंजमेंट फाइंड कर लेंगे कि क्या पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट्स बन रहे हैं एक इनफैक्ट ये जो टेक्निक है प्रिंसिपल ऑफ काउंटिंग ये हमें आगे डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ अरेंजिंग और सिलेक्टिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स में भी बहुत हेल्पफुल होने वाली है सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ counting let's consider a problem a boy is there which is mohan he has three pants p1 p2 p3 and two shirts s1 and s2 so how many different pairs of a pant and shirt can he dress up with there are there are three ways a pant can be chosen because three pants are available there are two ways a shirt can be chosen because two shirts are available so how many ways are there six six ways are there he can dress up with a pair of shirt and pant इसे हम अच्छे से और clear कर सकते हैं p1 p2 p3 three pants are there so p1 can be pair with shirt 1 or shirt 2 also p2 can be with shirt 1 and shirt 2 and p3 with shirt 1 and shirt 2 so 2 2 2 total 6 ways are there he can choose a pant and a shirt now we can consider one more problem that a girl shabnam has two school bags three tiffin box and two water bottles so in how many ways can she carry these items of course 2 into 3 into 2 12 ways there are 12 ways she can carry these items so basically what is fundamental principle of counting if an event can occur in m different ways following which another event can occur in n different ways then the total number of occurrence of the events in the given order is m cross n and if you have three events if an event can occur in m different ways another event in n and the third event can occur in p different ways then the total number of ways will be m cross n cross p this is called fundamental principle of counting or simply the multiplication principle now we will discuss addition principle if an event can occur in m different ways and another event can occur in n different ways but they are not following each other they are not occurring together then the total number of occurrence of the event will be m plus n this is called addition principle 